So before you freak out on me about my Amelia Fart title that I just made, hear me out. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community or movies or TV shows or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because I love engaging with all of you beautiful people out there. All right, so yeah, I have heard a little bit about this story between Amelia Fart and Airbnb. And I've heard her talking about how, you know, she was discriminated against because of how she looks. And like, I love me some Amelia Fart. You watching this video, you probably love Amelia Fart. Like, Amelia Fart, like, she, she is what this platform needs, right? Like, she is just, authentically herself. She talks about her mental health, which is something that I love. She knows that it's okay to be weird. It's okay to be different. Like, I think it's very inspirational to a lot of people out there. And yeah, when I first heard her talking about this and being discriminated against, like she was talking about it on Twitter, like I was like, that's messed up. Like, I'm against that. Like, I, I hate that. Like, just since I was a kid, I never thought that was right. I never thought it was right to judge a book by its cover, right? To judge people by what color their hair is, what clothes they're wearing. Um, like, I love tattoos. Like, I don't have that many tattoos, I have a few. But like, I love tattoos, but I knew like growing up, like I wanted to get sleeves and everything, but I was like, I, I can't because somebody might discriminate against me for my tattoo. So I don't like that. So when I heard that that happened to Amelia Fart with Airbnb, like I was like, oh my God, like this sucks, right? But she just posted her video. So know that I went into this thing like ready to like be on Amelia Fart's side and like boycott Airbnb, but like listening to her story, it doesn't sound like that actually happened, all right? Like I envisioned this story Originally, I thought it was like, you know, she she tried to stay at a place she wanted to for Airbnb, maybe they saw her picture, and they were like, no. That's what I thought it was. But the story is actually much different. So just to kind of summarize the story, she, she stayed in um, Southern California, right outside of LA, uh, and it's an area where, you know, people are weird and you know, whatever, and that's why she wanted to stay there. And there was a few things, right? So one thing to note, is the guy cares about five-star reviews, okay? Now, there was a few issues with the place, like she asked if she could take down some curtains to let some more light in, maybe for filming, or, you know, she also talks about how she likes, you know, light and everything. Um, then there was an issue with a lamp not turning on, and the guy came over, like, because she let him know about it, but she was very kind and generous, and, you know, she wasn't a jerk about it, right? And, yeah, while she was there, she ended up breaking a plate. Um, she went to Trisha Paytas' birthday party, and she had a bunch of stuff she couldn't fit in her suitcase, and she left a lot of stuff there, okay? So as she's telling this story, I'm like, huh. Like, I'm sitting there, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, wait a second, wait. Like, so she did get to stay at the place, the guy didn't kick her out, like, where's the discrimination going to come in? Like, I wanted to hear that. And I was like, and as I was listening to it and hearing about how much stuff she left, like a bunch of water bottles, a bunch of like, like Gucci boxes and everything, and she talks about how she assumed like he would like it or enjoy it or whatever, like, if somebody like left a bunch of Gucci stuff in my house, like I'd be like, what, what am I, what am I gonna do with this, right? Okay, let me give you an example. When we were in college, um, we weren't in dorms. We had these apartments, and we had a roommate who was kind of a dick, and he ended up moving out, and like he moved out, he packed all his stuff, but he left so much stuff just so much stuff and the garbage it was weird we were like at the top of this hill like there was apartments that went up this hill and the garbage um cans were all the way at the bottom right he left so much stuff and we're like dude you left all this stuff he's like oh just throw it away like he thought it was like no inconvenience to us to have to lug all his crap down there like it was just rude and like I was remembering that and thinking of this story as Amelia Fart, like, oh, I just left it. Like, he thought he was being nice. Like, oh, well, you guys can have my old stuff. And we're like, we don't want your stuff. You come back and you throw this stuff away, right? But anyways, what ended up happening was she ended up getting a bad review. So a few things, a few things on this point. And by the way, this isn't like to knock Amelia Fart. Like, yes, obviously, you know, she's a topic of this video, but it's to give some context to all of you as well, because like, we need to be better and we need to have some self-awareness. 
So like Amelia Fart, like I do empathize with her because she talks about some things like she wasn't raised a certain way, you know, and whatever, but I'm very fortunate. Something my dad always taught me was this, leave things better than when you found them, right? Like pre-Airbnb, my dad and I, we used to travel a lot for his work throughout California when I was really young, and we'd stay at his friends' houses. A lot of them would travel too, and they would leave us a key and we'd stay at their house or whatever. And he, he showed me, he taught me as a child, like before we left, like we, we made the house cleaner than when we got there, right? And I, I continued this as an adult, like uh, I was just telling my beautiful girlfriend Tristan about a time I, I um, watched my friend's pets while she was out of town. And before they got back, I thought it would be a nice gesture because I remember what my dad said. And I cleaned up their house, her and her boyfriend's house and made it look better. And they were very, very, very appreciative of that. So like when I'm sitting here and I'm hearing Amelia Fart's story, I'm like, wait a second. Like you left all of this stuff there and just left it up to this guy, right? Like, then she reads the review, and like, I feel on Amelia Fart's end of things, there's a lack of self-awareness and there's a lack of empathy, right? Like, she didn't take a moment at any point throughout this process to put herself in the homeowner's shoes at all and this is something that we have to do like we expect other people to understand us and empathize with us but we don't do it in return right and here's the thing like again amelia fart do your thing boo if you want to wear boas and put makeup on and do your thing like that is amazing but at a certain point we have to ask ourselves like when that guy walked in right to fix the lamp like we have to ask ourselves like what are they going to think is happening. Like you see it in sitcoms all the time. Someone like walks in and is like, oh, it's not what you think it is, right? But like, there's a stranger in your house, right? That's part of what Airbnb is. It's a woman with a camera out and boas all over the place. Like, if you're somebody who doesn't know, not even what YouTube is, but if you don't know who Amelia Fart is, like, think about walking into that, into somebody staying in your house and what you're going to immediately think. I was. Uh, reminding Tristan about when we first moved into this apartment and I didn't have like my my setup and everything and I was recording videos like in our bedroom I set up like my box light I put on uh, I put up a, a, the tripod and everything and I was recording videos sitting on the bed and like when you walk in when you walked into the room I started cracking up I'm like oh my god I was like it looks like we're filming a porn in here right like there's a tripod and lights like facing the bed, you know what I mean? So like, I laughed about it because if somebody walked in, they would have think it's a porn. I'm not, I wasn't doing a porn, obviously. I was like filming videos for YouTube, you know? So like, I, I, just, I just feel that she needs to have some empathy and understand what he thought. Like, I would think like, if somebody walked in and they, they walked in and saw that, I'd be like, hey, just so you know, I do YouTube videos and da 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 and I would have like joked about it. And I get it, Amelia Fart probably, you know, is a little awkward and thing, maybe shy, but I would have said, hey, this isn't, this isn't what it looks like, all right? But anyways, the last thing I wanna talk about is the perception of discrimination. Like, that that's just one of the reasons I wanted to make this video because, don't get me wrong, like, I'm half African-American. Um, I'm a recovering drug addict. Uh, you know, I, I struggle with mental health issues. All these things like stigma, discrimination, all these things are very, very, very real. But it's also important that we have self-awareness because not every bad thing that happens to us is based on how we look or based on a certain aspect of our lives. And it's important that we understand that. If not, we're just constantly making excuses for our behaviors, right? Like it's easy for me, like if I start being a dick to people, right? And somebody doesn't like me, I can easily make up excuses like, oh, they just don't like me because I'm fat right? Or, oh, I just didn't get that job because I'm a man or, you know, whatever it is. Like, I can make up all these stories. Like, I, I feel like Amelia Fart or any of you out there, when something like this happens, like, take a step back and ask yourself, like, have some personal accountability and be like, did I do anything that warranted this, right? Like, it's not always about how you look. It's not always about your gender. It's not always about your sexual orientation. Like, that's the thing, like we need to understand like when there are certain things that we did that we need to take responsibility for. Again, like I went into this thing just ready to, you know, just fight for my girl Amelia, right? But as I heard the story and when she shared 
what that guy left in his review, like, I was like, wait, like, what he said matches up with what you said. The only thing, the only thing that was incorrect about that was that he assumed that she was a cam girl, all right? That was an improper assumption, okay? But, but that was just like, that was a, a side topic. Primarily, that guy gave her a bad review because of the stuff that was left behind. From his perception, that lamp was working fine before she came, you know what I mean? So there should have been more of a conversation about that. But in my personal opinion, I do not think this was discrimination against how she looks. But maybe I'm crazy. Let me know down in the comments below. If you watched her video, which I'll link down in the description, let me know your thoughts on it. Because it sounds, it sounds, and I'm sorry, Amelia, if you ever see this, but it just sounds like you weren't the best guest. <laughs> All right? And, and yeah, it's no wonder why, like, yeah, Airbnb can't just take down any negative review about a person. Then what would be the point of reviews? You know what I mean? Anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to support what I'm doing here, get access to my new book for free that I'm writing, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.